It's all about dreams. 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 So today we're gonna do a review on this custom wig by Impress. This is a lace wig. It is the Sensational Synthetic Impress six inch part custom lace front wig sleek straight. So it's a straight wig. It has a one part in it. And this is my first time opening the wig. And um, yeah, I'm excited. So let's see. So the wig comes inside this box. I just took off the plastic layer. But I'm gonna put everything in the description down below and it comes in all these colors But I just got it in a 1B. This is the front the inside of it. So it has This is the top part. This is the straight six part um, Middle part and then this is the top part and it comes with two hooks on either side on the top And then the lace is just across the front the back of the lace there is one comb and of course there's ties in the back to bring it tighter so yeah, so this is before y'all. I just wanted to put it on while it's long. It feels, honest to God, when you first take it out of the box, I don't think it's really tangling that much, considering it's like very silky for a synthetic wig. The ends look nice. I'm actually kind of shook. So it goes. Like, it's like, if y'all can see, like right at my hip area is where it ends. So, she's cute, I like it. So here I am starting to customize the middle part of the lace. I just pull a little bit of hair out of that middle part and I just start to pluck it out with my hands and not tweezers, as you guys can see, because on um, synthetic wigs, it's very hard to tweeze with tweezers, so I just use my hands and pull out two to three strands of that middle section that I pulled out at a time. Do not pull out more than two to three strands because you will create holes in the lace and that's not something that you would like. So take your time. It is a tedious process, but you'll like the outcome at the end. As you guys can see, I'm just going farther up the part to where I would like this part. Does go very far back, so I didn't go up the full length, but I went as much as I wanted and made it as as wide as I would like. Here, I'm just moving on to the front part of the lace. As I showed you guys before, the lace does not go that far back, so there's not much you can work with. But I just go in and tweeze the front. I saw that it was easier to tweeze the front with tweezers than my hands. I also felt it was safer to do it this way. What I liked about the front of this wig, considering that there was only about a half of inch of lace in the front, it was tweezed or um, pre-plucked as they say in that section but I just went in and plucked it out a little bit more to try to make it more natural and the way that I would like this is obviously not mandatory in any way but if you guys want to make it a little bit more natural I would consider plucking that hairline a little bit more All I did was pull down a section and then tweeze, pull down a section of hair and then tweeze and made sure I didn't go through the same area multiple times to create no holes in my hair. Here I am just cutting the lace. I didn't use any specific scissors to do this process and it really isn't any of a tedious process. It's more of you just cut the hairline and obviously the hairline doesn't have to be straight because nobody's hairline in real life is straight so I kind of just cut like a jaggedy line. Put the foundation on this part of the lace where the lace is showing. Here I'm just applying a thin layer of got to be glue clear invisible gel across 
the front of my hairline where I would be applying the lace down and then I just dry it with um, fanning it but honestly you could use um, a blow dryer I just didn't have one at the time here I'm just applying another layer with the back of my rat tooth comb and making sure it's another thin layer and drying it once again until it gets tacky After the glue is tacky, I just pull it up forward to where I would like and hold it down as tight as I can on my head. After the glue is dried and the lace is laid on my head, I pull out hair of the front section of the lace that I would like to create my baby hairs with. And then I go in with my razor and cut the baby hairs to the length that I would like. One tip for this is make sure you pull all that hair of that section tight so that all the baby hairs are around the same length. Here I'm just laying my baby hairs. I used Got To Be Gel once again and laid it down with a brush. Here I'm just tying down all my hair so it will lay and slay. I just have this set on 390 so I'm just going to see how she takes it. She's already pretty bone straight but like you want her bone straight. Honey. This is like double size, so I'm just gonna Once I finished straightening my whole head, I went back in with my foundation and placed it in where my part was. And I also placed the foundation near the front of my hair where my baby hairs was just to make it as natural as possible. Get some got to be spray on a thing like this. Whoop. Lay down off here. Get away, get rid of those flyaways. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. This is the look of um, sleek, straight, six inch part, sensational wig. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I mean, come on now, y'all. If y'all are really balling on a budget like me, this is a nice wig a really nice wig just to pop on if you want to go somewhere and it's really quick to just boom 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 one two three straighten it and get where you got to go i'll tag all the information down below i got this wig from ebonyline.com all the information will be down below also let me know if you guys like this wig ebonyline.com hook your girl up if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel put on your push notifications to see when i post new videos and also give this video a big thumbs up it helps me out a lot i love you guys so very much and never ever forget love life love you and do you boo what bundles <laughs> 200 dollars bundles stop playing with me <laughs> Sugar honey iced tea.